The speed of traveling wave. Suppose a transverse wave is traveling on a string in the positive direction of x axis. We know that one element of string at a particular position x moves up and down as a function of time. But the wave form advances to the right. In the figure, we have shown a transverse wave at t equals to zero by full live curve and the same transverse wave at t plus delta t by a dotted live curve. The initial phase angle phi naught has been taken as zero. We observe that during this small time interval delta t the entire wave pattern moves by a distance delta x along the positive direction of x-axis. Therefore, speed of the wave v equals to delta x by delta t equals to dx by dt y x t equals to r sine omega t plus or minus kx plus or minus phi naught. The equation of the wave is y of x t equals to r sine into omega t minus kx. It may be noted that as the wave moves point on the string do not retain their displacement but the points on the waveform do. For example, a point like A marked on a peak of the waveform goes over to the corresponding point A dash on the peak of the displacement waveform. This is possible only when phase of the wave phi is constant. That is, phi equals to omega t minus kx equals to constant. Differentiations both sides of the above equation d by dt omega t minus kx equals to zero or omega minus k dx by dt equals to zero or omega equals to k into dx by dt or omega by k equals to dx by dt equals to v. Therefore, wane speed v equals to omega by k. Putting omega equals to 2 pi n, k equals to 2 pi by lambda, we get v equals to 2 pi n by 2 pi by lambda equals to n lambda. Therefore, v equals to n lambda. Hence, speed of a progressive wave is a product of the frequency of the wave and wavelength of the wave. This is a general relation valid for all progressive waves. But remember that speed of a progressive wave is determined by the properties of the medium, like its elasticity and density. Speed of transverse wave on a stretched string. String. The speed of transverse wave, V, on a string depends on 1. Linear mass density of the string, mu, R, mass per unit length of string, M, and 2. Tension, T, in the string. Note that mass is required so that the vibrating element can have kinetic energy. Further, without tension, no disturbance can be propagated in the string. We can use the method of dimensions to derive the expression for the speed v. Let v directly proportional to m power a t power b 
where a, b are the dimensions. Therefore, v equals to k m power a t power b, where k is dimensionless constant of proportionality. v equals to m power 0 l power 1 t power minus 1. m equals to mass by length equals to m by l equals to m power 1 l power minus 1. Note that in dimensional formulae for v and tension t represents time. We get m power naught l power 1 t power minus 1 equals to m power 1 l power minus 1 whole power a m power 1 l power 1 t power minus 2 whole power b equals to m power a plus b l power minus a plus b t power minus 2b apply the principle of homocentric of dimensions we get a plus b equals to 0 minus a plus b equals to 1 minus 2b equals to minus 1 b equals to 1 by 2 a equals to minus b equals to minus 1 by 2 on substituting the values of a and b we get v equals to k m power minus 1 by 2 t power 1 by 2 k square root of t by m using other methods we can show that dimensionless constant k equals to 1 therefore v equals to square root of t by m thus the speed of a transverse wave along a stretched string depends only on tension t and linear mass density m of the string note that speed of transverse wave in a solid is given by v equals to square root of eta by rho where eta is modulus of rigidly and rho in density of material of in solid. Speed of longitudinal waves. We know that in a longitudinal wave, the constituents of the medium oscillates forward and backward in the direction of propagation of the wave. Therefore, a longitudinal wave travels through a medium in the form of compression and rarefactions. The property that determines the fractional change in volume delta V by V when pressure changed by delta P is bulk modulus B of the medium given by B equals to minus delta P by delta V by V. As compressions and rarefactions involve changes in density P of the medium, therefore speed of a longitudinal wave would depend upon two factors bulk modulus b and density rho we can use method of dimensions to derive an expression for the speed nu or the longitudinal waves let v directly proportional to b power a rho power b where k is a dimensionless constant of proportionality now, V equals to M power 0, L power 1, T power minus 1. B equals to M power 1, L power minus 1, T power minus 2. Rho equals to M power 1, L power minus 3, T power 0. Putting in 1, we get M power 0, L power 1, T power minus 1 equals to M power 1, L power minus 1, T power minus 2, whole power A. M power 1, L power minus 3, T power 0, 
whole power b equals to m power a plus b l power minus a minus 3b t power minus 2a applying the principle of homogeneity of dimensions we get a plus b equals to 0 minus a minus 3b equals to 1 minus 2a equals to minus 1 a equals to 1 by 2 from 33 b equals to minus a equals to 1 by 2 putting in 1 we get v equals to kb power 1 by 2 rho power minus 1 by 2 equals to k square root of b by rho by other methods we can show that dimensionless constant k equals to 1 v equals to square root of b by rho this is the expression for speed of a longitudinal wave in a fluid note when a solid bar is struck at one end the relevant modulus of elasticity is Young's modulus y this is because the sideways expansion of the bar is negligible and only longitudinal strain needs to be considered thus speed of longitudinal waves in a solid bar is given by v equals to square root of y by rho